inside. I'd say that's very Noah Lyles like. <laughs> uh, to be honest, the goal was to make sure that I was the first to 60. After that, just do Noah Lyles things. Walk people down, using my top and speed. And I just believe that when I got up there, I was the fastest guy. I just keep believing that until I cross the line. Yeah, absolutely. That's you. The next question. Congratulations, you made history. Pick up and one on your time. Are you now in your Golden Book of the for forever? Um, I'm really happy for the, for the silver medal, even though it's something that, was, that wasn't on our plan. The plan was just to finish in the final. So I'm really grateful for the, for the, for the silver medal. Okay. So this time, uh, the only thing that was written was to make it to the podium. You did it again? You did it. Yeah, the more than Russell Downs, you know. You did it. He did. <laughs> I asked him this time, he, did, he didn't want to tell me. <laughs> I so, don't know why. Okay, now the stage is for the journalists. Please wait for the microphone. First, it's done in the 100. It was. Last year, made this the right year. After having such a strong hold on the 200, it really freed me up to be like, okay, no matter where I am in the season, I know I can always come back to the 200 and it's going to be fast. So now it's only a matter of time of continuously working on 100, you know, the worst part of my race and getting it faster because no longer is running more 200s really going to help me. It's now about running faster 100s that's going to make the first 100 of the 200 a faster time. And uh, for your friend there, how many 11 miles on the way now? Focus, he's pretty young. Oh yeah, I am too. <laughs> to market itself better. It's easy to market me because I'm out there, I'm excitable, I'm happy, I'm, you know, engaging with the crowd. But just as many as there are me, there's just as many other people, you know, like Christian or Fred. You know, they bring that serious demeanor that people gravitate towards, that that guy's known as like, you know, he's just a dog, he's a wolf, you know, he's gonna eat when it's time to eat, you know. And that, that person, that they're out there too, you know, people who gravitate towards that. And I, I feel that we have everything that you can need in any sport right here in Dragon Field. And those stories just need to be told better. For him that play because he's been doing this for, for a long time and he's did, he did it for, for, for the African continent. So I will really move out of the lane for him to, to, to run that race. And I'll really give this medal to him because he's been a great brother every time we meet. They are few, we exchange some few ways of motivation and to get the job done. Better than doing in the last few weeks, I convinced you this is possible. It's crazy, it's, it's faster than that. <laughs> I just high-fiving my coach and, you know, I told him, craziest thing is we still got so much more to improve on. And that's a scary thought. <laughs> Next question. Uh, quick question. 100 at the Youth Olympics, um, and you know, grab many 200 meter titles on along the way. But I mean, in the 100, you know, it it's, it has been a long journey. I mean, that was the first time that I've PR'd since 2019, and I always remember that race and how it felt and what was going on in my mind and just believing in myself so much that I thought it was crazy that day. And it was the same thing today. You know, believing in myself so much that, you know, somebody might have thought I was crazy, you know, might have put me in the in the same asylum. But I'm never gonna, you know, trade for anything. Just like I'm sure that everybody up here would not trade this moment for anything else, no matter where our journey was. You know, we got here through blood, sweat, and tears and you know, for that we're always gonna be grateful because we knew it was earned and not given. Kind of um helps you focus and you know, not stray and listen to all the noise. Um, the team, it, it consists of four people and they are 400 meter runners and we make sure that there is always joy between uh, all of us, nobody goes to sleep sad. And me going off social media was a very huge thing to do and it wasn't easy for me to do that but I tried all, all my best on it so that I can stay out of it. And here yeah, the the result of staying out because everybody was saying whatever you feel like saying, you know. So that disturbed me mentally, and then I just decided to now 
it has just let go of social media. So before the next question, I would like to ask Mr. Hughes, I'm really interested